We're seeing some of the highest water levels in recorded history on the Great Lakes. And that's the result of very wet weather uh, experience over the last several years. Uh, recently, we achieved new record highs on Lake Superior, Lakes St. Clair, Lake Erie, and Lake Ontario. We're seeing instances of coastal flooding, especially during high wind and storm events. We're also seeing erosion occurring much higher up on the shoreline, and that is threatening infrastructure and structures uh, as wave action is breaking higher up on the shoreline. Uh, the primary driver of water level fluctuation is the net basin supply, or the precipitation on the lake plus the runoff to the lake minus evaporation. As the chief of the watershed hydrology branch, I oversee a team of scientists and engineers that forecast and analyze the water levels of the Great Lakes. We do a couple different forecasts. Our monthly bulletin is our six-month forecast that extends out six months, and that takes into account current water level conditions as well as projections of water levels based on weather patterns and other uh, variables that the H&H &H branch tracks daily. The, the products are available uh, may give an idea of where water levels may go uh, into the future and also we have the great ability to explain why water levels are currently where they are. Uh, we do a lot of tracking of uh, weather patterns that impact the Great Lakes and variables such as stream flow, snow melt, evaporation, uh, all of which combine to, to lead to our forecasts of water levels. We do a lot of our work in coordination with other federal agencies like the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, the USGS, both of which are on the United States side, as well as our Canadian counterparts in Environment and Climate Change Canada. Many of our data sets are internationally coordinated with our Canadian counterparts, meaning that the data is consistent across the international border. On our website, you'll find all of our forecast information, near real-time water level reports, precipitation information, estimates on evaporation, net basin supply, and all of the other variables that cause water levels to fluctuate. You can find all of our products on our website, and that's www.lre.usace.army.mil. You can follow us on Facebook for more pointed information on water levels.